Well, hello and welcome. It's been a while. Um, had surgery on my legs. I've been stuck in the house for three weeks. So still a bit tender, can't walk too far. So just come somewhere local, somewhere that I've seen on the map. Never been before, no idea how to get there, but it does seem to have a lake with some interesting trees. It's a very dull overcast day, so I think it might be a moody black and white or a long exposure. Um, come with me, we'll see what's going on. See, we're somewhere near Newcastle Airport. Note to oneself, when you've had surgery on your leg and you've got stitches, Wellington Boots rubbing on the stitches probably isn't a good idea. A little bit of DIY padding a thing with my hat. Oh. What's the better lose that? There you go, what a work of off. And that's what I'm looking for, those trees now need to find a good composition. Oh wow, what a cool location. Um, now, I can take a shot from here. Some nice reflections. The water's pretty still because it's quite sheltered in this corner of the pool. Um, I could have a wander around the lake. Just somewhere over there, it's just a bit flooded. Um, I think I'll have a wander around before I take the shot. Always have a good wander around because you might find a better composition. Don't just take the first one that you find. I think I'm in a swamp. I think I'm sinking. Maybe not such a good idea. Ow! This was supposed to be easy on my leg. Right, let's see what we can find here. The trouble is, everything's about two foot underwater with the heavy rain and flooding we've had, so getting anywhere out of the trees to get a shot could be a challenge. Have a look at this. Okay, so I'm a bit stumped. I know the picture I want to take, but I can't get there to take it because of it's too deep to go over the top of my wellies. Mm. What am I going to do? Decisions, decisions. I'll show you the view I've got at the moment. Okay, so that's underneath. I can't get any further forward. Um, I've got a nice shot of the trees, but there's a reed right slab bank in the middle of the image. Really wanted some nice clean reflections in the water, but I don't think I'm going to get that. But it's a lovely spot. It's just really annoying that I can't seem to get to where I want to go to take the picture. Hmm. Decisions. Right, okay. I think I'm going to have to move, but just before I go, I think I'm trying handheld. The tripod's just sinking into the mud. It's too low even at its highest settings. 
There's too many reeds in the way and I'm a little carefully perched on a log hoping not to fall in. Um, so I think we'll try it hand held. Okay, so we'll take that shot. I'm going to take a portrait instead of landscape. Uh, focus on the three trees in the middle, I think. Handheld. I'm going to use my 35mm prime and I'm going to have it at 1.8 to try and blur out the background and create some focus on the tree. I'll probably focus on the spindly one in the middle with the unusual shape because that's probably the most attractive. Okay, let's have a go. Right, I've managed to find a bit of land that isn't yet over the top of my wellies and the tripod's relatively stable relatively, I don't touch it um, so I shall stick on my 24105 and maybe zoom in a bit on that tree the, ch the challenge I've got is I've actually got nowhere to put down my gear to swap lenses and stuff because obviously I'm in the middle of a lake so if I drop something it's good by a few hundred pounds so better not drop anything Okay, so here's the composition. Um, let's just have a look. So the focus is on that tree in the middle, and then the rule of odds, I've got, well, four trees really, but three main ones, and the reflections coming down into the water. Uh, because it's backlit, I've kind of overexposed by one stop. Um, like I said, I think the sky's not blown out but it's going to be quite bright it's going to be difficult in terms of dynamic range so i think i may just keep it simple and convert it to black and white and post but we never know we'll have a look right got the 24105 zoom on uh, with a circular polarizer and the 10 stop filter the light is dulled the sun's just about to go behind a cloud so we'll try for a long exposure of about a minute and a half and to capture the motion in the cloud So I've just changed my point of view slightly now to come round the lake a little bit so the sun's directly behind the lens so I'm not getting that kind of side light anymore, it's direct backlight, uh, just a different angle, see what it's like. don't think it's as uh, good from the side but we shall see. Okay, so again a portrait shot with the reflections of the trees and that little stump there is the foreground interest and then these kind of trees in the background interest again not much happening with the sky I've got the polarizer on actually not to cut out the reflections this time but actually emphasize them and again probably processes in black and white although there is a little bit blue in the sky so we shall see well I think that's about it for today so Enjoyed it, please subscribe. Uh